righty, it's Randy once again. Windy Screen Manufacturers, king of solar screens in the Houston area, baby. Lots and lots of good questions. I'm sorry I failed you guys. I have not posted lately. One of the biggest ones we're getting is, what is the proper way to install my solar screen? Well, you call it. I like the exterior look where it's nice and smooth. You can also install it the other direction where you have the spline line out. Both guaranteed to work. I urge spline out if you have those flat vinyl windows so that you have at least that 7 16th thickness of the frame where the material is away from the glass. I think you'll find that much more heat is reflected when we're floating. So the answer is you, you install it the way you want to do it, whether it's spline out or spline in. It's guaranteed to do what it's supposed to do, and that's to keep the heat UVs outside. And when we enjoy our fresh air, bugs, mosquitoes, maybe pesky neighbors, <laughs> maybe not neighbors. All right, the next second biggest question is, is, can I use solar screen on my patio or pool enclosure? I'm going to say no. And the reason I'm going to say no is because in theory, solar screen is an incredibly heavy product. Let's come on down here. It is a very, very tight weave, and again, very heavy. I'm not saying it wouldn't work, but I would encourage you strongly not to because this does create kind of a wind break. So when you're inside of your patio or pool enclosure and that wind is really pushing, it's like a kite, and eventually it's gonna fail. So I'm gonna leave that up to you, to what you think. Um, the one thing I would suggest is right over here for pool and patio enclosures, use what Pfeiffer calls an 1814 mesh. It's a very thick, very strong fiberglass. The air will flow perfectly. It doesn't necessarily reflect heat or UVs, but at least it won't come undone every time the wind gets a little too heavy. So that is my opinion. Do not use solar screen on pool or patio enclosures. Use bug screen, fiberglass, 1814, very, very strong. Now on that same note, I've been asked a thousand more times, What's the difference between the 80 and the 90? Come on down, cameraman. In my right hand is 80% solar. Of course, over here is 90. You can definitely see the difference. The 90 is a very, very tight weave. The 80 is much more open. That was terrible English, but still much more open. Both of them, we're gonna keep the heat, we're gonna keep the UVs outside, but the way I like to look at it is 80% all of your natural light, 90% you'll lose about 40% of your natural light so it will be obviously darker behind these windows I always encourage this to homeowners who maybe get a lot of glare through their windows because this does strongly reduce glare on your television gives you some wonderful daytime privacy and again I'm speaking of the 90 uh, and this is also great if you're a day sleeper because it really reduces the daylight comes through your curtains and again the 80 all of the natural light that's the way I preach it and that's the way I teach it 80% all the light, 90%, 40% less light. And then the biggest question that I feel is light colored solar screen. I've got one on the wall over here. Now there's two names for this. Twitchell calls it desert sand, and of course Pfeiffer calls it stucco. Whichever one you decide to use, they're awesome products. Don't worry about that. But the biggest complaint I hear is, is they get so dirty. I know. We urge you, I strongly urge you, do not use the light colors, the beige, the gray, or the stucco, uh, desert sand, whichever version you get. It shows everything, dust, dirt, everything. Now, I have been questioned, is that mold or mildew or fading on my screen? The answer is no, because both of those companies guarantee you're not gonna see that. But this does show all of the dirt. Every time the rain blows the sand, I mean, it is just, uh, I started the saw. I love it. It's a working shot. Again, I'm going to encourage you, do not use this material. Now, we are a manufacturer. I stock it. I stock all six colors because I have to sell what my customers want. But I always strongly encourage folks, unless you want to wash this a good eight, ten times a year, stay away from it. Go to the blacks. Go to the browns. Much better. And that's it. That was the four biggest questions I've gotten. I love all the emails, and again, I'm sorry I've been gone for a few weeks. We took a little time off, and when I got back, we had about 500 emails to, to start looking through, and I responded to most of you, but I did promise a video. 
that's it. WindowScreenManufacturers.com. Drop me an email, a question anytime. Have a great day.